that these cars are always different. different yes, yeah. so you don't have like one specific, like this look, like this was specced personally, for example. Like these carbon extents, that it was specially made when the guy, the one who bought it from the showroom, that's an order. So this, you don't find it in another GTR, for example. If you find it, that means the guy ordered it. And come, and if we see, if you can come and see it side, it have the carbon seats. Which is that for the, for the weight reduction. Weight reduction, so the car becomes light and faster. And that was the method of the Porsche. Boxer engine, carbon fiber, weight reduction, BKT, gearbox, one of the best in the world. If you go inside of this car and he takes you for a ride, you will be like shivering. I'm not joking, seriously. Like my personal car is a GTR and I get scared from this car. This is really, really, really fast because it's a mid-engine car. And if you see, by the way, just remember, there's no back seats, you have the cage. And that is very rare now on the, and, ah, by the way, it's a 4.0. You see, I told you 3.8. There's the 3.8 and there's the 4.0. This is the 4.0. You don't have seats in the back, again, for the weight reduction. And it's a mid-engine, the engine in the back. National sprayed it, no turbos. Blasting car, amazing, amazing, amazing. I like it, I like it. Like, it's the perfect supercar you will buy around this budget. Um, you have air-conditioned sound system, everything. Yeah, like it. It's, it's a, you can drive it as a day. The Ferrari on the light side, it's a different category. You know, this is if you want to go speed, this is your car. If you want to go luxury, this is your car. Of course, this won't go speed, but this is like you can go, you can drive it from Monday to Friday to work home. And then from Friday to Sunday, you can go to the track. Easy, like with this car. Opposite this one, it's the opposite. You can drive it in the week in the weekends, and you don't want to drive it in the um, in the weekdays. So this is, you cannot drive it as daily. And this way you can drive it as daily. Again, but the, the carbon seats. Carbon seats, also the price, uh, MSRP, you know, the price range and a lot of things uh, like that. Lastly, we caught up with this beauty, often described as a lightweight recreational and utility vehicle, the Mihari. Lisa Christofferson will probably tell you she has time for a good rally and definitely great cars. Habari. I am Lisa Christofferson and I am a rally driver. I was the founder of the all-female safari rally, the Lioness Rally. We had our inaugural rally last year in March 2022 at the Kasarani. And I've been driving in several rallies and autocrosses and 4x4 challenges as well. And uh, it's all about women empowering women because I believe metaphorically that when a woman drives, she's steering her life in the direction that she wants to go. And that's very important. And today we see so many more female drivers, navigators on the Kenya rally scene. So I've been invited to drive in the One Life Rally and I'm going to be driving this little Mehari. It's the first time ever the Mehari in the world has driven in a rally and yet alone be driving in a national park. So we're driving in, Ken in the parks throughout Kenya and I'm really very excited. And I believe that this car, even though there's no doors or windows, is going to get me from Nairobi all the way through the bush and ending up in Malindi, the Kenya Riviera as we call it. So the Mehari is a 1975 model, originally, originally uh, from Monte Carlo, and it's not an expensive car, so it's not what we classify as a supercar, but it has a great suspension, and it's got, it's done up all with the white and the classic blue, which is the original colors of the Mehari and we've got the spare tire here and it's super com comfortable. I mean, like I said, the best thing about it is actually the suspension. So where the Ferraris and the Porsches have to go very slowly over the speed bumps, I can fly. So it's all manual and you can see here, this is the gear shift here. So really an old classic car. And actually we had this car with Antonio, who owns the car, in the Concourse d'Elegance just the other day at the Gong race course and it won a prize. So this is very, very exciting. And like you see, there's no doors, there's no windows. So this is going to be interesting in the national parks. See if there's any lions that want to jump on my lap. So the gear shift here is what we have here is, um, as you can see here, 
So you've got reverse up there, one down here, second, third, fourth. So there's only four gears forward, right? And um, it's a very, very simple car to drive. It's a very easy car. It's not about speed. And remember, the One Life Rally is not about rally. So we're going to move that word rally and say this is a safari adventure. We're taking this car and all the other cars throughout our beautiful country, showing the national parks, our mountains, Kilimanjaro, Pakatuna, Africa, Pwani. So the main thing, this Mahari is normally based in Malindi, where Antonio, the owner, is from. So Antonio is the CEO of the One Life Rally Africa and he brought this car up to enter it into the Concourse d'Elegance and did it all up. So repainted it, polished it, completely revamped the engine. We had a problem yesterday with the ignition, but that's been sorted. And uh, now we're just ready to take it on this adventure tomorrow. We're going to call it Life is So Amazing, which is my name. As you see the sticker here, it's about celebrating life. Life is so amazing, embracing every day, chasing our dreams and waking up and following that passion, which, we are, which is so important in life, you know? Right. So um, follow us on this journey and um, see you in Malindi. So to all you ladies out there, if you want to come and drive with us in the rallies, reach out to me. You can DM me on my social media on Instagram, Lisa underscore Christofferson and we can talk it through. There is also now a Casa Rally, Kenya Motorsports Federation have started a little rally school so they could learn in, from whether it's a go-kart or a buggy or a Subaru Mitsubishi to drive in the rallies. You can start with the local rallies, the autocrosses, and then enter, go into some of the, the regional rallies throughout Kenya. And it's fun. So, you know, life is about living that dream. Make it happen. If you want to try it, just try it. Give it a shot. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, then you did your best. For the thrill of driving, this cute little Mahari is that it has never, ever driven in any so-called rally, as we say, we're not using that word, but the rally of an adventure. It's never been driven in a national park, in the bush, ever. So this is basically breaking barriers, breaking boundaries and borders. And that's what we're doing. Well, as the journey ends, the deep thrills of cars beckons. And this passion, you know, they are in the last seven, they are one under car. They are coming from everywhere in the world. No one cares where you're coming from, with your religion. We enjoy, we have the same passion, we are here to enjoy, we are here to have fun, and we are here to enjoy particular, unique experience. And what can we have it with your country is really particular and unique. Because, you know, when you have this kind of, when you are lucky because, uh, you know, you can afford to have this car. But what is the meaning to drive yourself if you cannot share this passion with someone else with the same passion? We are the only event that can go in every city, do events wherever, because we bring this philosophy with us. So, basically, what we are trying to do is also to show that there are opportunities for everybody. Because me, myself, I'm also from a modest family. And I'm, uh, if I can make it, if we can help you, if uh, we can set the philosophy work in a specific direction, we bring opportunities. And young people need to see opportunities. I'm hoping that maybe in the next year you will build some more suitable roads also for this kind of uh, cars. <laughs> yes, I mean, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so basic, basically that's, that's the main thing, why there are no more supercars, but I'm sure we could make it happen with the help of the governments and everybody here. Indisputable, wheels can connect people in a new dimension, and we are here for this kind of thrill and more.